This is Umbrella Mulga, and it gets that common name because of the obvious umbrella shape of its canopy. But this is one of the best adapted plants in the semi-arid desert. You can see that all of its foliage points straight up to the sky, which means that 100% of any rainfall that hits the foliage of this tree will be funneled to its root system. It has a deep tap root which tries to reach the water table underground and also has subsurface roots which spread out just below the topsoil. Those subsurface roots were used by our old people to make their spear shafts. So go to the bottom of the tree, find a subsurface root and obviously track it out until you've got the desired length. Then cut it off at both ends and then submerge that piece of root wholly in water and then pass it back and forth through the hot coals of a fire to get the bends and kinks out. Once you've straightened it, you're now ready to apply your silcrete or quartzite spear tip to the spear shaft. Normally that's done using the resin from the river red gum just to glue the spear tip onto the spear shaft in the first instance. But to further strengthen that join, our old people would then collect sinew from either a kangaroo's leg or a kangaroo's tail and use that sinew to bind up that stone spear tip to the wooden spear shaft. This is one of the most common types of acacia species in the semi-arid desert. This is Acacia annua, or the common mulga. And when those early white followers got out into this part of New South Wales, they said to the local black followers, what do you call this tree? And the black followers said mulka, and they spell it M-A-L-K-A, -A, and the white followers wrote it down as mulga. So mulga comes from traditional language name mulka. The timber from this tree was also really important to our old people when they were manufacturing implements. Things like clapsticks, for example. This species also produces a little fruit called the mulga apple. The mulga apple is actually created by an insect gall. So it's not an actual fruit itself and it can be collected and eaten at other times of the year.